Well, hi everybody, Pastor Al here. Yeah, we're gonna talk a little about dogs again. Um, one of the funniest things I ever saw happen was just a couple years ago. It's right after I'd got my new corgi puppy, uh, Caleb. And uh, I have a computer right near my bed and he was laying on top of my bed, stretched out. And you know, puppies just kind of fall asleep anywhere. And he was all stretched out like the way corgis stretch out sometime with a splute. And I was working at my computer and just looking back at him. Well, apparently he was so deep asleep, he didn't realize he was moving a little bit in his sleep and he just fell off the bed. I, I was really worried. I thought he hurt himself. He fell so hard. He just, you know, if we've ever fallen off a bunk bed, you know, and landed flat on the ground, you may know what it was like. Unfortunately, he wasn't hurt, but boy, he was sure startled and he was sure awake. And uh, I warned him that, you know, he shouldn't fall off a bed like that. Honestly, the person who's fallen off the bed a lot, it's my lab. Labs are really good for that. But I thought I'd show you a little video of some other dogs that are just having a hard time staying awake. Now, I show you these because as I was getting ready for the sermon for your parents and grandparents this morning, um, I was reading a, a section out of the Gospel of Mark, and the Gospel is a book that tells us the story and the teachings of the life of Jesus, our Savior. And uh, at one point, he talks about how he's going to come again someday. And uh, we don't talk about that a lot with kids like you, not that we're embarrassed about it, right? We just don't. Uh, but, you know, Jesus came 2,000 years ago, and when he died, he was resurrected. He went to heaven, he said, before he left, you know what, I'm coming back. And when I come back, everything's going to change. Uh, there'll be a new heaven and a new earth, and everything in history is going to stop and start again. And we call that the second coming of Jesus. Um, and he says, nobody knows. Nobody knows when it's going to happen. Even right now, I don't know when it's going to happen. The angels don't know. Only God in heaven knows. Uh, but you know what you should do in the meantime? Stay awake. You know, don't fall asleep. And he tells a story about, you know, what if you, a master, uh, someone, your master put you in charge of his house, told you to take care of it. And uh, you just decided you wouldn't do it. And because it was taking him a long time to get back and he shows up and you're embarrassed. The, the word that he uses when he says stay awake, it's like telling a watchman who's sitting up on a wall who's supposed to stay awake all night and watch for trouble. Uh, it's the same word there. It means stay awake. So I have a real simple message for you this morning. Sometimes God seems far away. Sometimes all the events in the world seem far away. Sometimes time seems like it's never going to end. And when you're really young, you got your whole life stretching out in front of you. It really seems like that. But Jesus asks you to do one thing. Stay awake. Be ready for when he comes back. You know, start thinking to yourself, if Jesus was going to come back soon, who are the people I'd say I love you to? What are the good things I've always wanted to do that I would do? Don't live like you have forever. you got a plan. I get that. You can't do everything all at once. But, but just remember, someday Jesus is going to come back. And uh, we shouldn't be surprised. And we're going to be ready. And whatever else it's going to be, it's going to be super, super cool. Best thing ever. So, hi, right, guys. Stay awake. And uh, we'll catch you next week. Bye.